It's good to have you interviewing you, man. After the post game, <laughs> Lions come back from down nine to eight in the top of eighth inning. They score seven unanswered, including six in the bottom of the eighth. And then a walk off from this guy. I think you probably know that face, Mr. Carter Ballstad. Carter, three for three tonight, two RBIs from yet again. You don't touch them out tonight, but what you did at the plate was just absolutely incredible. Take us through that last at bat, single in the left field, able to drive home Cole Ellis and win the ball game. Well, I was looking for a fastball. Um, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to Cole and Jelly for getting on giving me a chance to do that. And then they spiked a um, slider and I was just sitting fastball, got it, and hit it to left field and Cole's fast enough to get in there. I mean, you and Kyle Carlson, two of the best pure hitters in this lineup, contributed a lot all weekend. Obviously, still didn't take two out of three, didn't win the series. You guys still able to end on a high note though, winning game three. How do you take that morale and able to build on this momentum in the midweek against Oglethorpe and the next weekend against a really good Emory team? Oh, it's never never good to lose a series, but you know, winning the last one gives you momentum going into the next couple games coming up. So I'm um, hoping to keep it going, keep the bats alive, keep throwing strikes, and we'll be good to go. I know y'all about tired of saying it, or me saying it at least. The best player in Division Three baseball shows it here tonight. Perfect at the plate, three for three, walks it off in the ninth. We'll see you back here at the Milk Jug Wednesday night against Oglethorpe at 7 p.m. Where else would you rather be, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs>